college basketball this afternoon in Birmingham. I want to thank all of our Auburn fans for, for turning out. Um, we, had, uh, we had 63 men uh, go through prostate cancer screening. And, uh, I believe it's Urology Centers of Alabama. That is the group that, along with the Sly Foundation, that provided those services. Um, one in nine are going to be diagnosed with prostate cancer. And I'm praying that those diagnoses are early stage and they'll be able to treat and make a difference tonight. It's again, just a reminder to all of us. It's just a simple blood test. You get to be 40 years old, you gotta get a colonoscopy. You got family history, 40's the year. So it, it's just, again, we lost Mike Slive too soon. We lost him too soon because when he found out he had nice horns, when he found out he had prostate cancer was stage four. He fought. And so that's why we do, that's why Anna Slive and her family are doing this and that's why we've been committed to playing. I wanna thank St. Louis University for coming to this game. Um, when they found out what we were doing, they said we're in. No one had to come to Birmingham and a neutral site. No one was gonna be like in a road away game. I give Travis Ford a lot of credit for that. In return, I'm going back there. I don't know a ton of SEC schools are gonna play at St. Louis, but we are. In, in return of his good, his, uh, his thoughtfulness. Got a good team. That is as physical and athletic a team as we'll play. They've got some real strengths, like us, they've got some real weaknesses. That was an ugly basketball game. And uh, uh, that's a sign of a great coach in Travis Ford that he can do some things defensively, a great game plan, didn't let, didn't let us do the things that we like to do. Um, and, uh, but we did enough of what we needed to do to win. Defensively, we were terrific. And Javon McCormick was the best player on the floor. He was the best player on the floor. A reminder, a year ago when Jared Harper left early, I think it's kind of a no-brainer that you go get a fifth-year guy or you go get a Juco or, you know, you got – there's nobody else to start on the roster to replace him. But we had Javon McCormick who averaged, I don't know, 12 minutes a game, maybe 14 or whatever it was. He had done all the right things. And I told the team, I'm not recruiting anybody else because he's earned this opportunity. Now, there have been other players in other positions where I didn't do that. And I, I explained to the team why. Terrific student athlete, did all right things. He deserved the, and guess what? I think God kind of blessed that a little bit. You know, Javon, on both ends of the floor, was incredible. You guys, Cody could say questions right now, maybe. <laughs> I'll do my job and his. Uh, yes. <laughs> Bruce, how big was that sequence in the second half when, when Javon gets the steal and finds Isaac uh, for the three? I mean, that was, big, that was a big run. Uh, I thought we got into a bit of a rhythm with, a, with, with a, 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 some spacing that we were running, putting Isaac in a ball screen and rolling him down and throwing Anthony in a corner, and it bothered what they were doing to the point of we got two or three straight baskets and Coach Ford had a call timeout and um, so there was some obviously some really big big plays there. First in the game when you guys just aren't shooting well. I guess Mel Tuff has sort of won this thing for you, didn't it? Well you you gotta make plays. You gotta get rebounds. You just can't go for them. I mean um, you, you, like like Javon, rather than just simply defending, he defends he gets the 50-50 ball and, and makes the play at both ends of the floor. A lot of times players are either afraid to fail or not willing. They, just, they want to just sort of contain you. How about stop you and take it from you? How about that? And Javon stopped him and he took it from him. And um, I think that, that's important. I wish more players would, would, would be able to understand that. You just can't be, you can't sit back. That could be a sample size thing, but uh, Cambridge finishes 13 minutes plus 16. You leave your two Could you kind of feel his presence up there? 
I thought Javon Devin played played better. He was active. Um, he had some big blocks. He obviously had a Sports Center, you know, dunk. And uh, I kind of stink, guys. So don't get too close. Um, but that's what we need. We need Devin, or we need Jamal. We need Al. You know, we need. Um, you know, Anthony coming off the bench. We need we need our bench to be able to go to it. We got four guys coming off the bench tonight, and you know we got oh we got we got we got outscored coming off the bench. We had 22, we had 17. That's typically not who we are. I'm really pleased with what Devin did, but I need more off my bench. What are you taking for all three now? Well, tell you what, finish me up, and then I'll let you have the guys. Perfect. I guess the rebounding was an issue, and then second chance points, and then free throw shooting. You know, the, the key to free throw shooting is getting there. Yeah, I'm still, I still think every one of them is going to go in. Absolutely believe, no matter who's shooting, I believe they're all going in. So, I would, you know, the sample size isn't very good. It's not, it's not a very good trend. But I think we can turn that around. I believe we can. Um, you know, just uh, the, uh, that was a very physical game. If we play other teams in the SEC that are that, Physical, we, we could get exposed again. We, we, there were some things that got exposed tonight, but it didn't get to exposed to the point where we couldn't beat a good basketball team. Are we good with coach? You good, guys? All right, wear these guys out. All right, we'll take questions for full five. Um, we knew coming into the game, uh, I would need to be more aggressive offensively and defensively. So, um, first possession, I just tried to be more aggressive. And you got that steal in the second half and found Isaac for the three. How big was that spark for you guys? Uh, he uh, he missed he missed me on a couple when I threw it to him. I told him to shoot it. Uh, he wasn't comfortable with his catch, so I told him the next time I find him, he got to shoot it. So I felt like that was a big swing for us, especially because they called timeout. Hey, you ever consider going there and shooting a jump shot at the foul line? Jump. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I never considered that. <laughs> <laughs> I hmm. I don't know. Javon, where did you want your identity to be coming into this season, and where is it at? Where do you think it's at right now? Um, knowing that Jared left. Um, people thought it was going to be a drop off, and I just wanted to show um, that it's not a drop off when he leaves. Or last year, he when he uh, came out of the game, um, it was no drop off. So I felt like my identity would just be um, to control the game, control the uh, speed, um, and just score when I need to and play defense. You guys haven't played much basketball lately. It looked like you came out a little sluggish as a team. Was that the case? Um, they just they made a few shots. We knew coming in they was going to be, uh, they'd come out more aggressive. So um, we got out to a slow start and we picked it up on defense. But, uh, a lot of people talk about your offense. Um, you just mentioned the defense. What's your guys' mindset on that? Uh, a couple big stops in the beginning. Uh, we pride ourselves on defense. Um, uh, Isaac and Samir and myself, we're trying to be the best uh, backcourt in the uh, SEC. So. We just pride ourselves on defensive and re, uh, defense and rebound, so that's what we tried to do tonight. Isaac, was this a game your defense won the game for you today? Yeah, defense was a big part of what won the game today. You know, we started off pretty sluggish in the first half, so we went into halftime just talking about playing aggressive on defense, and that's what we did. Any more questions for these guys? All right, thank you.